We are, we are trying. We are gonna try this today. It's called the Kashmiri Tutti Frutti. So you heard it. You heard it from me, and you heard it from Bo that this is. This and is it's a good news for all those Bollywood lovers because that is actually the name of our new collaboration. The new collaboration. You heard Lazarus it first. Lazarus in Bohemia. Lazarus in Bohemia. Too many Kashmiri Tutti Frutti. What? Kashmiri Tutti Frutti. <laughs> <laughs> it's been announced. We just made history today. <laughs> Heard it first, right here. You can already see the Bollywood fans right, going wild over there. Oh, Phones are starting to blow up. Oh, we got yeah. a million hits, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Two thousand fourteen, the two thousand fifteen anthem. We're gonna run all through two thousand fifteen with that one. You know how you were asking me uh, if there were some good stuff we could put on a documentary? Well, mm -hmm. it doesn't get be any better than this. If you know the song, you know, if you have the music inside you, if you want to make music, you don't need that. I don't think so. Oh, we got a oh. camera crew? Yes, sir. <laughs> I have a mode for you all, man. Oh, man. <laughs> That's you right. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Andre Higgins. What's good? Marco. Very young Bohemia. You stay in the man, best I weather of the world. Bro, well, you're besides Dubai. Yeah. I'm actually going there next week. It's good, man. You're filming a bunch of people freezing here. <laughs> what you doing, man? <laughs> I've been, I've been just waiting to connect uh, two of you together just because of the different traits of hip-hop yet, you know, uh, from the same roots. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's been one thing that I wanted to see, you know, as maybe in the near future, you know, collaboration or something. That might be just yeah. another sick thing for our market to come see. Yeah. You know? I mean, that's just as a fan, you know, that's that's me as a fan talking. Yeah, that that be, that'd be something that I would love to look forward to. The things that you just decided to juggle. Yeah. It's literally like someone saying, all right, I'm going to juggle the chainsaw <laughs> and a watermelon or something. Right. You know, like, it's, it's, just, it's two just things to that fuck you off. We're like, right. hey, but you know, that's, like, that's, that's, that's you're the whole, juggling, you know, like. That's the whole thing that people always said that those are two things that you, that you necessarily like can't juggle or it's not feasible. But that's where the and fun that was, is. That's where the fun is because when I can tell somebody that I'm working with in, in, in the hospital, I can tell them what I do and what I've accomplished in hip hop, they don't believe it. It's like uh, dating a girl. Yeah. And you find two girls you love. Right, exactly. But then you're like, okay, I'm gonna have to choose one. Right. Well, there's that. Yeah. You don't say like, hey man, I love her, I love her. I'm gonna tell both of them about sure, it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you uh, you just know I'm gonna choose. And no, you don't even know, you subconsciously start choosing. Like, okay, she's the main and she ain't. Right. She's keeping keeping up, she ain't. This is the I, this is this is happening here. This ain't. and same goes for those trades, hip hop, and anything as drastic as you know, med medicine. It forces you to be that guy. You wake up as a medicine guy. You wake up as a hip hop guy. Right. Depending on and, uh, So for you to do them both is like you just you're a fucking like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Yeah, it is that. But at the same time, at the end of the day, you are a human. And that's what you're trying to show people is that you can do this, you can accomplish these things, and wow. you know, it's not an alien doing it. So you know, because I know so many people that they, they they give up on their dream to pursue whatever they're doing outside of education, and vice so versa, you, they let go of education. Keep both girls happy. <laughs> keep both of them happy, and you know, then yeah, I exactly. I don't see the other one mad. <laughs> well, definitely, you know, one will get mad sometimes, sometimes, a little jealous sometimes, you know. But you gotta break through that. You're like, you know what? You'll get your turn. You'll get your turn. This will be the ultimate. <laughs> 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 so I gotta respect that, and I can see you being so in that doctor shit that where, you know it's the it's the dude in you. He they, they, that just sparks the dude in you to go. Right. Brian. Straight out the jungle. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Doctor rapper, now I'm not humble. Cold like a tundra. I'm not a street rapper, I just go eat rappers, I got hunger. <laughs>
Why, why is it? It sounds a bit brittle right now. Do you want some crispy? Up. Up. Okay. Yeah. Today? Yeah. What time is this? Uh, later on, I don't know. I think you're already here, bro. <laughs> you see me around here somewhere. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> you're around here somewhere. Maybe next to you. Kind of straight, though. Let me take a look. Are you going to wrap again, too? Yeah. Are you? Is that you? Check one, <laughs> check two. My chip. There you go. There you go. Yeah, a little bit of reverb, I think. Just, just to match the room. Yeah, My chip. <laughs> Fresh. Same. Same shit. Yeah. Different day. How's, how's everything going? You still. Everything's good, man. Yeah. Uh, he was here recently. I remember you sent me that beat, man, that we all yeah. did something on. Yeah, we got to get him smiling a little bit, man. This guy's, ever since I came over here, man, this guy's been just straight serious on his business tip. But hey, that's a good sign. That's a good trait. Yeah, good trait. That's how we do that. Texas, all the way to Vegas, Detroit, and California.
License and registration, please. Please step out of the vehicle. <laughs> you are under arrest for being a naughty sand nigger. I couldn't believe that dude asked me that I want to join the militia. I was 18. This is 95. I said, You white people want to induct me into the militia? No, you fuckers trying to hang me and use me as a damn skate dummy. No. That's how they recruit you. What up, though? I just want to thank Dr. Khan on the record for this prescription. Thank you, Dr. Khan. Go ahead and go ahead and show the community. And you think I'm gonna smoke it too, right? But I can't. You just hit it. You just hit it. Look, <laughs> it was way too you fast. You that shit out too. You gonna cut the frames? Yeah, it was fast. Yeah. You gonna get me in trouble? It Blackmail was... me? Yeah. It's not gonna work though. That allows me to go places that that you can't go. You, you couldn't go with the music. You know, and um, that's why I'm like very excited to keep pushing the movement because it's like the more people that 
they start to learn about your story, the yeah. more people are going to start to, you know, keep their minds open and their own options in their own lives. So that's yeah. like, that's important. To me, the mainstream game is way too predictable and, um, but it's, uh, you know, a lot of kids come up from bottom and, uh, they do a fucking kamikaze attack on it where they don't give a fuck about music. They don't care about industry. If you, some aren't fuck. They're like, bro, I got family to feed. That's right. Fuck all this shit. I, I'm going to dance. I'm going to wear a you know, pink shirt and red yeah. shoes. And I'm going to wear a fuck, you know, yep. gold bracelets. And I'm talking, when I point towards this, this is Bollywood. This right. is what all the kids come in here and women right. come in to watch this. This is not Nicki Minaj. This is not saying I'm Cash Money Records. I'm gonna make rap music. This is not that. This is saying we are family music. This right, is a family right, music. Right. Not the same. Thing. And then and then the movies are That's losing the family. cultural identity that they had before. Uh, Whereas yeah, I watch a movie from the right. 80s or the 90s, and I see the, the values retained. I see the heritage retained. I see the culture and, the, and all, everything. It was about who was at the helm. Now it's all about who can show the most naked nakedness in their body. Who can show the most sex scenes. In their you could not. Type their name right. and Without see how finding, like, doing sex videos about uh, yeah right. It would and be like I wish that, I would. Those are, those are the, the max was like I wish people, I did. Those are the people getting glorified now. And, so, and now in, in, in what's sad in, in society culture is that people now start defending this. And this is the thing that hurts me the most is because right. I go on Facebook you should and, and and if I if I even voice my opinion about this and say this is messed up, how about there's going to be 30, 40 people defending that. That right. And th that's the brainwashing that's going on to the kids. Now, what we're trying to do now is bring back the mess right, right. in hip hop. Right. That's and that's why those are the conversations that I have with Chuck D because the record companies, they say that this is the image that we want. No matter if you come from A, Village A, Village B, Village C, or Village exactly. D, this is what you're going to make. If you never sold drugs or you never do the bling bling, this is what you're going to do. Okay? You have no choice. This is what. If you don't do this, then you're not going through us. And right. Through us is how you get exposed. And then, you know, how do you combat that? How do you fight that? How do you say, well, I'm going to make my name on my own and do it myself. How are you going to do that? But, you know, it, that's the challenge. So then in that sense, when I talk, when I do these kind of songs that I say, yeah. Ke che das in fee par te free. Hit song, hit song, wale bande ti. When I'm saying these things, that, 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 it's like I'm exposing you. I'm like, talk. Hey, but right. then they get there. Chief ministers and them to like, bro, please, like, not come there, man. Like, we can't have him. He's too vocal. He's too vocal. He's too real. Too real. We can't have him. When I say lines like, thirty minutes, got the flag of the whole world strapped on in my armory. So hang me, sit down, me, bomb me, but you honor me. You know, thirty to forty minutes. You kind of be a vocal and passionate about it. That scares them and intimidates them. Yeah. They get like, scared. <laughs> like this guy's not on that minutes? tutti fruity stuff. Well, let's see what he's. What is he doing? Where is he? But that's what from? we're gonna put out. That's the next. Where 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 is he speak? He's he's speaking from 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 here. That's scary. That's scary. That's scary. It's scary. uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable for the record executives, man, because when they hear that, they hear I can't I can't put a leash on this guy. And, and we don't. We I don't can't put a collar on this one. Yes. I started listening to rap, and I'm like, okay. I gotta listen to these guys again and again. I don't know. How to talk. I don't know. I landed in San Francisco, 14 years old, bro. I could not talk to you in English. Maybe I could say hello, how you doing? That's about it. I couldn't be like, hey man, I just came from Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, bro. I'd be like, hi. Fuck, bro. And it just, bam, do it. So rap music was like, man, this is just cool, man. It's just, I can say shit. No, we are not around for food. Ooh, cool. cool. <laughs> Learned that shit, so. And I stumbled on Nas. And Nas talked about some shit. And by that time, I'm like, okay, cool. I speak right. And I'm like, man, what just he just said in this rhyme? Now that I understand the shit, right. too. Like, I wrote this shit in Ogu. Right. <laughs> Same shit. And so that it's was crazy it. for me because Nas is one of the re one of the reasons that I rap. You know, he's one of the inspirations that I had because when I see Nas, 
he's a rapper that made it to that mainstream level. And what I mean by mainstream level is everybody that's in hip hop can regard him in their top five be best rappers. He's beyond hip hop. But to, to, to look at Nas is he never looked at this hip hop game as I want that mainstream hit or I want this hit. It's like, look, I'm Nas. I'm a street poet. This is what I do. He brought and, a message. And he br this is my message. And you're gonna love it, or you're gonna, or you're gonna walk gonna away from it. Right. And the but rest, I'm not gonna change care. myself. Not I'm not gonna change myself for the no. commercial engine. No. That's right. not gonna happen. Right. Right. So, in and in a, you know, for me to be inspired by that, 14 years ago when I started writing my first rhymes and I started listening to Illmatic and and uh, you know it was written and I am and all these albums and it that was those are one of the those are the reasons why I wanted to express myself in the way that I started to express myself. Right. I feel it's very amazing how. Nas had an impact on me, and I'm I'm a rapper from Detroit who raps in English, and it's also made an impact on Bohemia here, who's a Punjabi rapper, origina originator of Punjabi rap, and just to have Nas's influence on both of us, and we're both bringing different things into hip hop, but both being of Pakistani descent, like I just think that's crazy. So shout out to Nas, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For sure. That's what I like about y'all two guys, man. Y'all y'all music. It, it has a deep meaning to it and everything like yours. I didn't understand a word you were saying on the fucking song. So I sat down with this cat right here and I said, dude, tell me what he's saying on this song. And we went right through, we went through your whole song, man. And he was just reciting every, he was, what, what we call the word? Uh, not reciting, Trans he translating. translating. He translated everything for, for me in the song. And I was like, dude, I say like, he's spitting some shit. Right. I was like, he's spitting some real shit. So I'm like, damn, dude. I'm but you know, serious. but th but that's the thing. Like, he he don't understand what he's saying, but he could he vibe off that. You can yeah. vibe vibe yeah. off yeah. the uh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The context. It's been many years, and one thing, a random time. You know, sometimes you fucking you s smoke it, nice blind. You're just in that thought process mm -hmm. and you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Man, it's been years now. I'm trying to figure out when I get in my zone. What music is. Like I, it's just, it's such a strange thing to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Like I know what food is. Right. You know, you go fucking hungry for a minute. Yeah. You know what it is. I need it. <laughs> like, yeah. what, what, or I know what water is. You go right. thirsty. You're like, I have to have it. Like, you, you, can, you consider music is music. I don't know what it is. It's nourishment for the brain. But it's, 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 yeah, it's all those words are fine. But it's funny that you brought up food though. But you have to trust me. One of these. Days is get in that zone and just realize the act of it. Right. Yeah.